The Everglow mod adds insane new weapons, reworks, bosses, and even a new subworld to Terraria. Note that whereas this mod is still in development and is only a demo, there are still some awesome content that I'll showcase in this video. First, let's talk about spell tome reworks. While equipping the Crystal Skull, every vanilla and Everglow spellbook gain additional effects, giving each spell tome entirely new visual and gameplay changes. The Demon Scythe just looks insane with ramping damage and knockback. The Water Bolt generates water balls. At 6 stacks, middle clicking amplifies attacks for the next 5 seconds, whereas consuming 1 stack allows you to perform a short teleport to the cursor position. The Book of Skulls now create bone nails that deal extra damage to targets, and a new right click ability which summons bone claws on the ground. The Crystal Storm now periodically fires large crystal shards as well as a crystal tornado. The Cursed Flame Bolts now bounce and can penetrate up to 3 times, and damage is increased by 20% for each target. The Golden Shower now creates an Ico explosion when opening and closing the book, and you are able to right click to control the rate of fire and mana cost. The Magnus Sphere can now fire multiple projectiles which electrocute and explode nearby targets. The Razor Blade Typhoon functions similarly, however can now create a black hole after attacking and damaging enemies. The longer you cast the Typhoon, the bigger the black hole becomes. And lastly the Lunar Flare, which bolts gradually increase your crit chance and crit damage. Apart from existing weapon reworks, we also have heaps of interesting weapons that I'll showcase on screen now, such as the Flow Light Missile, the Vortex Vanguisher, Harp of the Valley, and the Glow Yo. And finally, let's go over the new subworld, which can be accessed by heading in via the cocoon structure. In the future, the custom pylons will unlock, however in this demo, let's just TP in. In Mothworld, follow the path down and you'll eventually run into the main room, a visually beautiful environment with an insane background and other awesome ambient features. And if you head to the very top of the structure, you'll find a cocoon, home to the corrupted moth boss. Apart from amazing visuals, this fight has various unique attack moves, such as creating a sword and bow from butterflies, or this insane bullet hell phase, which I really enjoy. I only showcased a small portion of the demo, but if you want to check out the mod for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam Workshop. That's it for now, goodbye!